We've just arrived at the salmon ponds in Tasmania. The salmon ponds is west of Hobart. When you come to the salmon ponds, you can view fish breeding in all of its stages from fingerlings to full grown brown trout and brook trout and Atlantic salmon, which happens to be one of my favorites. If you are an angler and you have an interest in the history of your sport or just appreciate some great collections of angling fishing equipment, then this is the place that you need to come and visit. There is a museum housed in the cottage on site which shows changes to fishing equipment, the history of angling in Tasmania. And you can also check out the cottage built for the first superintendent of the Salmon Ponds in 1865. Hi everyone, I'm Ali from Camp Taurus and we are currently at Pancakes by the Pond at the Salmon Pond stand in Tasmania. And you'll find the Salmon Ponds just outside of New Norfolk, so if you're coming to Hobart and you head west out to New Norfolk, the Salmon Ponds is about a 10 minute drive out and it's well signed on the road to find your way there. So why would you come? Well, we'll show you a little bit more of the outside because the actual Salmon Pond itself is really cool. Um, we're just stopping into the Pancakes by the Pond restaurant and having a bit of lunch. Jeff's got himself a crepe. Now we're going for a sweet crepe. He's doing the same thing. And once we've finished here in the restaurant, we'll head outside and show you around the ponds. Just so that you know, you talk about what you need to bring. Two dollar coins, which I've already lost one. <laughs> Stolen. <laughs> so. There you go. How much you want? That'll do for now. <laughs> The very first thing you need to remember to bring with you when you come to the salmon ponds is two dollar coins because the machine doesn't accept ones and um, two dollars will get you this much. You want more than that or not? Yeah, get me some more Jeff. And Let's some fish. <laughs> so in here we've got some rainbow trout. Hey. Yeah. One of my favorite eating fish in Tasmania, the Atlantic salmon. Have a look at this. Look how big it is. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, did you see that one's mouth? Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many there are now, Jeff. Yeah, bring them in. Yeah, bring them in. Bring them in. Entry to the ponds is currently $8. And once you're in the ponds itself, you have access to the gardens. The gardens are lovely, and there are all these ponds, and each pond is labelled with the type of uh, trout and salmon 
that is in the actual pond. So the ones that you just saw then were the albino and there's tons of them in there, They're massive, massive. Right, let's go find Jeff. I think he's a bit tricky to find. So at the farther end of the salmon ponds there are lots of little huts that have information about how the trout is farmed here in Tasmania and you can read up and get all the history if that's something that you are very interested in. There's no button on this one, it won't sing you a song. Take me to the river. He's a big one the different flies that they use on the, the fishing rod to lure the, the trout on. They're actually called flies. I said lures but there's a difference. So these are the flies and then over here we have the lures. They look like bugs here and then you have the spinners. If you are traveling down this part of the world and you are in a camper van, this is a great spot to pick up some supplies in your Norfolk and maybe come out and have yourself a barbecue. This is the technique. Jeff's gonna throw a couple of pieces in, get them all brewing, and then I've got what's left to send them nuts. Nuts. <laughs> nuts. Oh, these ones are fun because they flick around. Alright. Alright, they're in? they're in. Are you ready? No, I'm just got hard. Oh, really? Okay. Spoil my fun. All right, Rapa. All right, here we go. All right, go. Here's half a handful. They're not going nuts. Uh, yeah, they're going pretty nuts. And here goes the rest. Here goes the rest. Woo! Hey, go nuts! <laughs> <laughs> the fish are going nuts. And there's silence again. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. We hadn't done that for such a long time. I think the last time we were out here was when we brought um, the grandkids out. They might have only been our granddaughter at that stage. So we've had a good walk around. Uh, we've had a really lovely lunch. The service was great. And now we are about to head to whereabouts, I'm not sure. Hey, and. Hey, Al. Hey, Al. Can we have some more pancakes? <laughs> Do you want to go another serve of pancakes? It's tempting. <laughs> I don't know if you said this or not, but in all honesty, eight dollars for an adult to get inside, three dollars for kids, two dollars for a cup of food. Great value, we know. Yeah, it is. Really, it is. Really good value. It's a really nice day out. And like I said, bring a picnic lunch out here. The gardens on a good day. It's a bit rainy today, a bit clouds coming over, but on a, a good day, um, it's a perfect place for a picnic. And if you are camper vanning around Tasmania, a great place to stop and just have a really nice morning to relax and again use the barbecue facility so yeah that's the salmon ponds so thanks for stopping by the channel we hope you've enjoyed this trip into the salmon ponds hang on there's something on the lens i think oh, is it poo or is it just a there's a big poo there's a poo someone's pooed on your lens oh hang on i've got to fix that oh.
And on that note, we'll catch you in the next one.